Okay, today we have a complete different uh, adventure. That AirTech uh, arrived in Iceland. And uh, from there, our friends who took that uh, with them went to Reykjavik, got themselves a camper van, and did a tour around Iceland in the camper van. Now, I completely missed the departure from Sydney and how it got to Reykjavik. Reykjavik, I have, oh, Keflavik, sorry. I have absolutely no idea because that um, air tag became dormant for a while and I didn't follow it closely and suddenly I saw it at the airport. I said, oops, a daisy, here we go. Okay, let's see what we have. And um, so what I did, I made as much uh, out of the trip as possible. The only trouble is that um, they are nearly exactly on the other side of the of the time than we are. And today is our night, and uh, our night is their day. So it was uh, not really easy to follow that uh, air tag around all the time. So I had a bit of a bit of a difficulty doing it. You know, I, I did as much as I could, but occasionally I even I have to sleep. And also at that time I was still driving limousines and so I had to fit it in between jobs and that uh, was a bit of a mess. But anyhow, I got as much as I could, I hope. And um, I will I'll let you enjoy the trip around Iceland. And uh, then it went from Iceland to the Faroe Islands. How it got there, I have no idea. I completely missed that. But uh, I got the uh, trip from Faroe Island to Copenhagen and from Copenhagen to Berlin and from Berlin to Amsterdam and then the train trip from Amsterdam to uh, Paris and then it flew from Paris to Singapore and then back to Sydney. Yeah, it was quite a, quite a trip. I wouldn't mind doing a trip like that, but definitely only in the summertime because all that area where these guys went through, it's uh, not warm, even in, in summer. Okay guys, I'll let you have some fun. I have a little bit of music underneath and um, I will stop talking now and uh, let you enjoy the, um, the trip around um, uh, Iceland. 